Hey, it's Pastor Wynn with Family Harvest Church. I just want to give you an encouraging word that I have entitled these three things. Number one, we love you. I want you to know how much I love our staff and our church family. I've always appreciated you, but this time, this time has made me realize that my love is much deeper than I thought. I want you to know that my every thought is always about how I can best serve God, our church family that he's placed me in, and, and, and those in our community. I want you to know that my main concern at this time is about how and how I can best serve you and your family. And because of this, everything that we do as a team is poured out of what God has filled our hearts with. And it's reflected as we serve one another and our community with joy and excellence for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Everything that we do should always be filtered through our mission right, to take one step closer to Jesus. Everything that we do comes out of the surplus of our hearts. See, we sing, we pray, we read scripture, and we serve each other and our community because, well, we, we love you in Christ and feel connected to the vision and the mission that God's given us. So now is not a time to pull back. It's not a time uh, to pull back, it's a time to press in. Now more than ever, we have the glorious opportunity to serve. Many will take the mindset that we need to just survive, to just get through this. I want you to know that Family Harvest is prepared and we will thrive during this time. Many will get bitter. Family Harvest is getting better. Many will only see obstacles. Family Harvest sees this time as an opportunity. You see, people are, are more ready to hear the good news of salvation through Jesus Christ than ever before. This is not a time to rest. This is a time to rescue those lost and far from God. The enemy wants you to take a vacation from service to God. The enemy wants you to not serve, to not read the Bible, to not pray. The enemy of your soul wants to keep you from being fulfilled and living a life that boasts of God's goodness. He wants to steal kill and destroy you and yes sadly those who become isolated and disconnected are often the ones the enemy picks off first don't let the enemy take you down don't just stay connected stay committed take this opportunity to be proactive and to serve like never before to love like never before to live like never before look if you can say Jesus died for me, I wonder if you'll commit by saying, so I will live for him. Ministry has not stopped. Just the way we are doing ministry has changed. The mission is still the same, to reach those lost and far from God. And look, we're prepared. God has prepared us for times like these. And all throughout history, Christians have, have run to the fire and they've shared the gospel boldly. For us, God prepared our team in advance to meet a digital need and reach way more than ever would ever, ever set foot on our campus. We've touched more lives exponentially for Jesus than we ever have before. And God has also prepared you. He's granted to you all things that pertain to life and godliness, including energy, creativity, innovation, leadership, and hope. Look, every idea you've implemented, every connection you've made, every share, every click, every comment, every like, and miracles that you've seen prove that God continues to equip you to reach the people he's called you to reach. Lean on his preparation. Trust him with your ministry. We also need to be reminded that the main thing is the main thing. We need Jesus. Most importantly, this time has revealed that our world needs Jesus. People everywhere are, are starving for security, health, and connection. And the ultimate form of all of those comes from Jesus. The fulfill, fulfillment of all of those things comes from Jesus. So through churches like ours doing online ministry, people are finding hope. On a more personal scale, this is a time that has revealed that we each need Jesus. Long after we're exhausted or lonely, or out of ideas, only the power of Jesus can keep us going. And amidst all that you're doing, 
fight for some time with Jesus. Get into your Bible, read, pray. We need Jesus. So look, staff, Dream Teamers, church family, we love you. You are prepared by God for ministry to such a time as this. You know Jesus. Rest in those assurances that he's equipped you to, to go and do the great things that God has called you to do as we all take one step closer to Jesus. We are praying for you. We love you. And we look forward to hearing about all the great things that God is doing in you and through you.